It's our job at the Dirt Shed Show to fill your day with mountain biking joy, but unfortunately we can't start this week's show with anything other than the news of the passing of Stevie Smith, downhill legend, who died sadly in a uh, enduro motorcycle accident. Yeah, really sad news, but I've got to say some of the tributes from other riders, racers, and just really the industry itself has been so nice. It's really lit up the social media pages. He was a great racer in 2013. He had three World Cup wins, and he also got the World Cup overall, which is which is really hard, and he had a good battle with G. Atherton as well. Yeah, um, I'm a massive fan of the guy. Um, it was really cool to see him come back this year. He got a second place at Lords. So, yes, yeah, really, really sad news. Got to see him. Uh, some really cool tributes. One from G. Atherton in particular I picked up on. G was his you know, fierce competitor back in t 2013. And he says it was an honour to have battled with him. Uh, basically said, whether he was filming, riding or racing, it was always charging. We've lost a real hero. Yeah, and another one from his teammate Mark Wallace. This one's really nice. And he says, I would not be anywhere on the bike without Steve. Most importantly, he taught me to be confident in my abilities, race my bike properly and take risks. As training partners, we pushed each other to the limit. And I think that really just sums up what Stevie was like as a guy. And he was known as a chainsaw massacre just for, just for going anything. And if you watch some of the videos that he was in, including that seasons back in the day in Rome, mm -hmm. when his mum was shuttling, they were just a dedicated family to mountain biking. Yeah, some amazing tributes coming in. Obviously, our thoughts and our condolences to Stevie's family uh, from everyone here at GMBN. Crazy free rider Matt Madoff. We talked about his loop that he kickstart funded, oh, uh, yes. a huge loop, and we heard it didn't go well for him. This picture has come out on the Rise's Instagram. Ah! What? Oh my goodness me. Uh, I, I, I guess he was probably, what, 40, 50 foot in the air? That, that is literally terrifying. Um, it says we can't get away how lucky Matt was to walk away from this one. Um, literally? Didn't quite walk away, but yes, he was very, very lucky because that is crazy. That loop makes me wonder though, what is driving someone to want to do something that <laughs> massive? It's so big. It's huge. I mean, would you try something that big? No, I don't think oh, I would. No. Well, what drives someone to front flip a road bike mine? You've got to go into it with so much commitment and a little bit of hope. And a lot of speed. I don't yeah. like the hope. Front flipping a road bike, right? I'm not really hoping. I'm like, it's going round. Yeah, true. Um, Phil thinks that he got the funding from GoFundMe to make the loop, which meant he just had to do it and he didn't. It, there is a lot of pressure that... with that. I suppose you've said, you've told someone you're going to do this thing. People oh. have paid for you to do this thing. And then you build the thing and go, I don't quite fancy this. Who's Phil? The European mountain bike, no. The <laughs> European, the European cross country mountain bike. <laughs> <laughs> Championships took place. This is difficult. The European Cross Country Mountain Bike Championships took place last weekend in Husqvarna, Sweden. Yeah, we did. We saw Julian Absalon back on form after getting that puncture at the World Cup in Cairns a couple of weeks back. Fabian Geiger in second as well. And Yolanda Neff was there in the women's field. She yeah. took it, the win ahead of Annika Landvard by convincing four minutes. Four, four minutes. minutes! So she's jumped back off her road bike onto the mountain bike. That's, um, that's a big gap. And she seems to just be a natural. And Langvad oh. won the yeah, yeah, she won. Uh, World Cup. I think so. Absalon's looking in really good form this year as well, so mm. can't wait to see the next World Cup. Yeah, yeah. especially with it being in Europe. Mm. All the big guns are going to be there. I'm sure Absalon would have won that first World Cup if he hadn't had that puncture. Ooh. Nino, you're in trouble. Great action this weekend from the Fee Slope Style Competition in Montpellier. Who took the win? Tommy G. Whoa. Tommy G from Ryan Nyquist. Tommy yeah. Gannon, should yeah. I say? Big news there because BMX legend, we talk a lot about Ryan Nyquist we in do. the show, it yeah. seems. But it is, it is really good to see him right up there. Yannick Granary was there and he got a score of 94 as well. Yeah, now 94, that's significant because that shows he's really on the money. Yannick Granary, who he's beat there into the podium, he's a brilliant rider. Yeah. Um, and with Drew Bizanson coming over from BMX as well. A couple of um, the best BMXs ever. Yeah, they're, and they're really showing that they're starting mm. to adjust. Bazantson in there, Nike Vist. Oh, slope yeah. style this year is looking hot. Nike Vist. Nike Vist. Nike Vist? Nike Vist. Fees? Fies? Nike Vist? I'm really glad I went down this route now. <laughs> the Enduro Series is back this weekend and it's in Ireland. One of us is going. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going! Oh, oh yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. 
back over to Ireland for the Enduro World Series. Last year was really, really good. We had good weather as well, which really made it. But the big question is, can local boy Greg Callahan get the win again? Well, these are our predictions. And, we uh, don't think he can. Well, in the women's, Tracy Mosley is back. This is the one event she's definitely racing this year. And uh, unanimously, we've gone for Tracy Mosley for the win in the oh, women's. Yeah. I think this is an opportunity for her to almost have a, a, a season win. Because if she wins this race and doesn't compete again, they're always going to think, could she just have won it again? Yeah, like, she's going to be fired up for this. Martin, who are you going for? Jared Graves? Jared Graves to take the win. He needs to get his foot in the door if he's got any chance of doing something special I've got special to say, yeah, I think he's a good shot, but he's mm. not really that great on the on the really tight stuff. So it's going to be very interesting to see how he does. You could have told me that before we did. <laughs> I'm going for Richie Rude. Uh, he's just so good. So good. Yeah, podium last year as well. Yeah. He's a good shot. And I'm going to go for Martin Mays. He's been second at the two yeah. rounds before. And I think that he'll be gunning for that win. He's really motivated, fit, and he's just a very technically capable rider. He's not won one yet. No, he's not. Could this be the first one? Could this mm. be it? If you are going to be there this weekend, make sure that if you see us, come by, take a selfie, give us a high five, and just a bit of encouragement as well along the way. That'd be great. Comments! Uh, I've got this one from our e-bike video this week, and it's an endless grove says, I don't want one, but I'm sure that they're fun and whatever makes you happy. Ah, oh, what a sensible comment. Yeah, it's yeah. Sensible. actually uh, development on the e-bikes, they're going to be, the press are going to be using them at EWS yeah. so they can get around to different places on the course. I did make me think though, is that going to, is that going to become a competition in itself? Like the press guys <laughs> are going to turn yeah, it into probably. their own competition. I yeah. bet that'll happen. Well, a lot of the press guys are ex-racers and they all yeah. are all very competitive, very so yes. yes. I've got a comment here from Jeremy Hendo5, and this was on our Instagram page, and he's saying, is Scott switching over to Neil's fat bike team? And that was in relevance to the fact that I got a new bike this week. But no, I'm not. But this week, we do have a really good video, don't we, Neil? Yeah. Fat bike versus plus bikes. We fat bikes. And the last one is from Yaron Amir, and he says, am I hallucinating, or is this Mark? Nice to see you there. <laughs> yeah, Mark has occasionally popped back up on the channel uh, just to keep us on our toes really yeah. yeah now the question did come up is that last is that the last video mark will appear in and the honest answer from neil is i have no idea <laughs> he actually doesn't know <laughs> <laughs> time for the caption contest this picture last week of well myself and you martin looking pretty handsome in our roadie caps even if we do say myself yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, scott he's got his roadie aero helmet on yeah what have we got scott the first one is from JPMTB, and he says, Neil likes the look of Scott's special helmet a bit too much. Don't get it, don't get it. Yeah. Uh, Tom Z 115 says, when the piggy in the middle wins. You look quite happy with yourself there. I do, don't I? I look chuffed mm. to bits, chuffed to bits. Uh, and the winner is from Stuart Shelley, which is, how about Scotty Don't? <laughs> Scotty Napal. <laughs> you are a winner, Stuart Shelley. Send us your details and uh, yeah, we'll be winging out your prize. Photo for this week's caption contest is uh, that man Scotty over there uh, posing <laughs> in front of a sign. <laughs> Have you got one for this, Martin? Uh, yeah, <laughs> shoes. <laughs> All right, okay. What do you mean? Tech of the week. We've seen Fox come out with a new X2 Shocks Float and DH, and they both have an open and firm lockout lever on there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is really good for some of the enduro riders and those big days locking out as well. And the great thing is, it's actually going to be retrofitable. So if you already have a Float X2 Shock Air or Coil, you can actually just buy the little switch and it'll replace your uh, low and high speed adjustability. I think it's great news, uh, super adjustable, yeah, high and low speed compression and rebound, and they were sort of, I thought personally, they were always missing that lockout, so really good to see. Shout out! I'm gonna throw to a fat bike video, uh, bear with me, it's really good. Uh, a couple of boys get dropped off in the middle of the desert with their fat bikes and they go for an adventure. Camping, climbing, having loads of fun. I am going to throw to SRAM video featuring Johan Borelli and Josh Carson. I'd forgotten his name, I'm sorry. It's a great video though, really yeah. cool, check it out. What's nice about that one as well, Mike, I've got to say, is they actually go for a ride and it's sort of almost in real time, they show the lap times that they're accumulating and also yeah, the ride yeah. time. So it's, that's a nice, a cool one. it's a nice bit. They'll both be racing in Ireland for the EWS yeah. as well. Yeah. Fierce got. competitors. Oh yeah. Nah, really. uh, the one that I'm going to throw to is Danny Mike and Avi Moore, and he's just riding in this Scottish town in the Highlands. That really cool. <laughs> that really that guy. Do you not know him? I've met him once or twice. I'm he's not really. a nice guy. Yeah, he's cool. He's a nice guy. Is it worth watching? I'm yeah, not he's him. learning a mountain bike. 
Insta bangers. Well, there's actually only one thing we can do this week, and it is put down a great tribute to Stevie Smith. Yeah, so rather than throw into an account to follow, we're actually going to tell you to look at a hashtag, long live chainsaw. Yeah, and there's some incredible pictures coming out and tributes from all of the industry and competitors, family and friends. Hey, hey guys, guys, check over here what I've got. It's a bike for time. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Let's get in there. Open it up. Oh, Vince, Vince. claps. Ooh, that is a nice calendar. That is nice. Yeah, nice. Stephen Woodwork. That, that shot, he took that and thought, mm. I know where I'm sending that. Sunset. Nice. Very good. Nice. Tyler Gelsky. Super nice. I love the look I like that. he's got the bottle cage and the pump on there. He's got oh, a lot nice of extras, one, hasn't he? Yeah. Marsh guard there, bit of nipper yeah, in there yeah, as well. Some bike mm. shop took you for a... Yeah, pink spaces. Is it a GT Force there? <laughs> yeah. Hunter Mahan. Oh. There's a golfer called Hunter That's, Mahan. Is really? Is that him? Yeah, a really famous golfer. It can't be. Is it that a plus bike meal? Uh, uh, maybe, I'm I don't sure. know. It was a Hunter Mayhem at Sea Otter Classic. It's a nice bike, anyway. Mm. Yeah, nice. Whoa, Phil, Phil Bromley Cairns. Where's that? That looks like South that Africa. That looks to me. amazing there. Oh, doesn't it just? Oh, that's, that's, that's super nice. His water ball must get a little muddy, though. Austin Sue. Oh, we don't often see Daniel bikes in the yeah, bike vault. No, look Good at to that. see it. Super yeah. nice, I'm super saying, nice. for that. Mark. Nice. <laughs> Dominic Pullen. I like it. Nice yeah, colours. I like it a lot. Lime green, blue. Nice. Richard Thorpe. Oh, what is that? Um, I don't recognise that. Yeah. Cane Creek double barrel. He must have seen a stashing video with the tube on his frame as well. Nice. Richard, let us know what bike nice that fence. is. Oh, is it Turner? I don't know. Ah, oh, nice oh. shot. Nice shot. Tom Wimpenny. David Wallace, he's a big fan of the show. He literally is. He, his seat height, he must be like. <laughs> yeah, bear seven right. See foot. what you've done seven there. Yeah. Three, two, one, and oh. Oh. The vault is shot for this week. You can always send your bike Honestly, in. I could, st I could just go through the vault. Yeah, there's, there's all day. so many good love ones it. today. I love it. I love, it. I love the photos, I like the settings, I like the thought of someone's gone, oh, I'm sending that in. I've got to say, if you really, want a, if you really want a super nice, do you know what really gets it for me is if they're nice and picturesque, you know, they've yeah. got the sunset, nice background, yeah. I like trees, quirky, mountains. A bit of quirky positioning is a super um, nice for me. Colour coordination for me. Oh. 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 Yeah. Send them into, uh, what they send them into? Dirtshed at gmbn.com. And make sure that you do title it Bike Vault, because then we make sure that we get a chance to look at them. It's time for my favourite part of the show, hacks and bodges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking back to last week, we featured a bike that was being washed in the bathtub, and now Lizzie Chalice has actually said she understands why a bathtub is always dirty when her fiancé's in it. Mm. Could be other reasons, <laughs> just <laughs> saying. Be, yeah. uh, my first hack bodge for this week is from Roy Aquino, and he's made a really cool chain device out of a little bit of hose, is yeah. it? A little bit of hose? Yeah. yeah. He, he must have it. checked out you know, the top must 10 have. ways to upgrade your bike for almost free. Hopefully it works. Yeah. Uh, we've got a really cool one from Darren White, who's made a little, you know, really tidy cable tie thing for his uh, cables. Mm. Cable tie for cables. That Who is, thought? That is a good one, I've got to say. It's very neat. One. Look it how really thin his front wheel looks. And the Gruffalo looks pretty impressed as well, yeah, I have well, to say. Thumbs up from the Gruffalo. Can't see fair enough. Uh, Dan, he, say, he says his friend, uh, the cable snapped on his dropper post and he didn't have time to buy a new one, so he's sort of wedged a screwdriver in there. I know someone called Phil did that as well. Well. It's pretty ingenious, but does it work? Hack. This one's come in from Vince in the Philippines. Oh, let's like check it. Whoa. Blue jump. trail blues. All right, I'll kick you jumping it then. Oh, it always makes me jealous when you see these really narrow sort of strips of single track that look amazing fun to ride. Yeah, right through the grass like it's almost in the jungle. You don't really get that here, do you? Oh, I like this one. It's making me want to go riding this one. I'm enjoying mm. it. This is impressive. And this is, where is it? It's called the Blue Zone in a place called Timberland, San Mateo Rizal, Philippines. Right, time to pin it in. I'll Stick pop in. that in the map. Near, kind of near Manila, I think it is. Next pin comes from Aaron Couch, another brilliant name, obviously in Australia, Mudgy. Is the name Mind of the town. Let's check it out, Neil. New South that Wales. Good it Whoa. actually looks like there's not a trail. He's just gone out into the bush and he's riding around. It's in the outback, mate. No, ah, there it is. It looks hot. That's what it looks like. Yeah. It looks like Mick Dundee's about to jump out at any moment. <laughs> Tell you what, the bet there's a few beasties in there. Adrian is absolutely shredding. He's going pretty quick down these turns. Yeah, yeah. despite that long stem that you mentioned, Neil. Well, not so good for going downhill, but pretty good for going uphill. Oh, okay. Australia. What's it near, Neil? Um, this is Mudgy, New South Wales. So that is sort of Sydney area, isn't it? New, New South Wales. Not far from Dubbo. 
Dabo, mate. Well, and done a do. And Kula. There we go. Magi's in the map. Mine. Where do they send their pin the trails? They send them to dirtshed at gmbn.com. Oh, nice, mate. <laughs> we can't do accents. <sighs> Can anyone in this shed do accents? Nope. Top of the morning, dear. Coming up on the channel this week. We have got an action-packed weekend for you guys. On Saturday, it's Greg Callahan's Pro Bike, and he was the winner of the Enduro World Series in Ireland last year. But we've also got some bonus content from you for the Enduro World Series. Sunday, it's that plus bike versus fat bike that you've all been waiting for as a feature. And it's good, isn't it, Neil? Oh, it's a cracker. It's really good. And we've also got some more bonus features for you. On Maintenance Monday, we've got five tricks for fitting internal cables. And then on Tuesday, we've got eight ways to climb faster. Eight ways? Eight ways, that's cool. what it says there. Pay attention to that one. Uh, and on Wednesday, it's how to ride a cross-country bike fast with Annie Last. She gave me some tips. Well, I gave us some tips. Yeah. Actually, well, she actually gave you some tips. Well, yeah, that is true. She owned you. Uh, and on Thursday, it's Ask GMBN, where we answer all your questions sent in to us via social media and in the comment section down below all Where can they send those questions and videos, Neil? Uh, ask at gmbn.com. Uh, I'm good at remembering that one. Yeah. Yep. And then on Friday... Uh, nearly. Friday, <laughs> it's the Dirt Shed Show! It's the... Dirt Shed Show! It's the... Dirt Shed Show. <laughs> Welcome to the Dirt Shed Show! It's the it's Dirt, Dirt Shed Show! show. Well, we love getting your It's a Dirt Shed show. Send them into Dirt Shed at GMBN. And, well, that's another... That's a shame. It's the end of the show. Yeah, it is the end of the show. But there's loads of GMBN videos out there for them yes, to watch. Yes, there is. And you can click up there if you want to see e-bikes, fad or future. And if you click down there, we've got a beginner's video aimed at people wanting to move to clipless pedals. So check that one out. And if you click somewhere just right in the middle, you're going to get to subscribe. And if you haven't already, then I don't know why you haven't, but make sure that you click it. You get a great video every day of the week and it's absolutely uh, it's free. I think it's free. Yeah. It's absolutely it's, free. It's always been free. You can give us a thumbs up like if you like this video, which of course you did. If not, you've watched it to the end and you must be some kind of nutter. Uh, and obviously, <laughs> give us your comments in the comment section down below. Have a good week. Bye.